Hi everyone. Today we are going to learn about what is the database and what is the most famous language to access the database. So first let's learn about what is databases. Databases is nothing but a storage system where data records or any files that contains information or uh, customer data, financial information and um, product information. So basically any kind of information or data is being stored in the database. There are many different types of databases. So that is going to be a separate class. But uh, in short term, what you can tell uh, is databases are used for storing information, for maintaining information and for accessing or sorting any kind of data. So uh, you can store, um, suppose you are uh, a company like a bank owner okay so let's assume that you are an owner of a bank you want to like store your customers data right like uh, what are the different types of customers and what are their accounts uh, what is their addresses what's their information what's their uh, first name last name date of birth and uh, how frequently they are doing transactions and how much money they have in the bank account so you need a database to store you cannot like manually, like in olden days, like manually uh, people are having paper records. So we can, uh, we, we are far ahead now. So all this information can be stored in databases. So that's the purpose of having a database. So to have a database, uh, there are uh, some requirements. First is you need to have a hardware, hardware in the sense a computer or um, a server, so all that uh, physical infrastructure, you need to have the devices, right, for storage. So that's very important. And uh, first of all, we need to have all the hardware that is uh, responsible for storage. Okay, so that is the first thing. Once you have the uh, database hardware uh, uh, stuff, then what we need is we need a database software. So database software... Uh, is actually to control and manage those databases okay so there are like where uh, like so many different uh, database management system we call them as d uh, d dbms so uh, don't worry all that uh, that is all like for database administrators they have to learn all the softwares but if you are going to be a beginner right uh, what you need to understand is what is a database okay for database there there needs to be a uh, a physical device a storage device should be there and then uh, to access the database we need a software so uh, to control the database we need a software so that is called as database management system software okay so just keep in mind we need a hardware and a software the next important thing is we need data so now you have uh, the hardware and the software now you need information that raw information from customers right so you need that information so let's assume you have 100 customers for all the 100 customers you need their first name your their address their date of birth and their account details and how much amount they have in the bank account and how much information like how much transaction they are doing every day how much amount uh, they took it from the atm so that is like a raw information right so that information is called data so we are going to store all these kind of data in the database. Once the data is stored in the database, now to retrieve the data, okay? So now um, let's assume that for all the 100 customers, all the data is stored in the database. Now, as a IT person, okay, you need to access the database. Access in the sense like, how are you going to um like take information from the database and give it like how are you going to see that information so if someone is asking you um like let's say for today how many customers uh they did their transaction okay so what you have to do is you need to access the database and get that information right from the database so for that you need a language like like, like how we speak english and Spanish and French, like how uh, the language is used to communicate between people, same way we are, we are having language, okay, it could be SQL, it could be Oracle, it could be MS Access, there are different kind of uh, this data access language or programming language that can, that can be used to control the database. 
so the most popular and easy query language to learn is sql you can call it as sql or sql so it is called as structured query language the most famous and most popular and uh, the like it is very very demanding okay so there are like many um, versions of this like beginners intermediate and advanced but what i am going to teach in like for the next 10 days is the beginners version so you need to start from the basics it's not you cannot learn sql in just in one hour that's not possible if someone is putting a video on like learn sql in one hour do not believe it because it is not possible for this is like a new language okay you cannot learn for a baby right it cannot learn the language in half an hour okay so this is like a, like english like spanish like it's like a language so it takes time for your brain to adapt all the concepts how to like write in that language okay this is like coding uh, um it's very very uh, like it, it can be difficult for beginners especially from person who are from non it background okay who is not had any kind of idea what is this database is what is sql it will be very difficult for them to learn but you need to start from the basics it is definitely possible for you to learn okay you, it's not it's not necessary that you need to be from a computer science background any background if you are even from like a hr background or a, a science background you could be from any background you can learn sql just to start with the basics today i'm going to teach you what are the four different kind of statements that we are going to use in sql so first is select statement select in the sense you just want to use the select statement for selecting the records from the database it's very easy s e l e c t okay select if you use the if you use that statement it means you are expecting the database to return some data uh, some kind of uh, data it is going to show you some kind of data okay so uh, for example you need to like select a customer's first name and last name from customer uh, uh, table so you have to use the select statement and then you can put the syntax so in the next video i'll be teaching you about what is the syntax for this statement and if you put the syntax uh, the database is going to throw you the information like uh, regarding the customer's first name and last name so select is the first statement the next important statement is insert insert means you are inserting information into the database if you want to add a new customer name okay in that case you are inserting uh, that data okay that information about the customer okay you are um, changing like you are updating the database with customers uh, date of birth or customer changing the last name you are changing that uh, last name okay in that case how will you change it you use this insert i n s e r t insert statement for updating information in the database so third one is update update is there is already existing information and you want to update okay so in that case you are going to use update u p d a t e update so um i will tell you what's the difference between insert and update like practically uh, in the next upcoming classes i will tell you like uh, when can, when you need to use update statement and uh, when you need to use insert statement for now you need to understand that update statement is used to update the existing information in the database the last one is called delete statement so this is like deleting information from the database uh, in reality in projects or uh, nobody will have access to de uh, this delete statement developers or testers it's only database administrators will have access uh, so just for information or educational purpose you can learn about this statement but in reality it's very rare you use this statement <laughs>